those the family member. Um, eternal flames we will never forget. And the words, we will always honor their service and remember their individual sacrifice. So you can forget about Virginia fallen first responders because we ran with this flag in Virginia in one of our runs. And actually, this the last two days we've been sharing a flag that says New England fallen first responders. Although we did not bring that in with us, it's out in the truck. So all of that to bring you to this moment where we are going to honor a very special family, first responder family tonight. And I'm going to throw it to, to Brian, our Massachusetts chapter director, and he will take it away from here. <sighs> Thank you, George. And Salem will help. I'm glad you took all the explaining part. <laughs> Made mine a little easier. Uh, tonight, as George said, here to honor a uh, fallen first responder. And to give you a little background, on this gentleman, kind of was near and dear to me. Uh, at the end of this month, it'll be one year. And his brother, Mark Tower, I went to school with, and we hung out. And uh, one of my brothers actually was on the fire department way back when uh, his brother started out as call firefighters. So this small town community there in Goffstown, uh, we knew the family very well. Hung out a lot, a lot of history there. And uh, when I saw that last year pop up, that his brother passed away after uh, completing a physical fitness agility test at the uh, training academy, right, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> um, got a lot of response. Uh, everyone that we went to school with had a lot to say and pass on condolences and everything. And uh, this past winter, I had started something in my front yard called the Remembrance Tree. The first person from our first responders, the first start that went up, the first night that tree was lit, was Mark's brother, Captain Stephen Tower. <clears throat> At this time, if I could have his wife, Nancy, come up, and Mark, you're going to come up here too? Come on. <laughs> Right up, yep. It takes two people to hold the flag. <laughs> Come on up, Mark. <laughs> if I could have all three, you stand right, right over on this side, too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that's what you get for not seeing it in 30 years. <laughs> So, tonight, yep. I don't have your check down pat yet. You don't? No, <laughs> just tell me when you're ready. Tonight, go ahead. Tonight, it's my honor to, honor to present the honor and sacrifice flag to Captain Stephen Tower's brother, Mark Tower, and to his wife, Nancy. Beautiful. This honor and sacrifice flag is presented with eternal gratitude and respect in memory of Captain Steve W. Tower. With this flag, we honor this public servant's unwavering dedication to remember the selfless sacrifice. By displaying this symbol throughout our communities, we humbly recognize the enormity of your loss and respectfully say thank you. George A. Letts, founder, August 21st, 2021, with proud assistance and appreciation, Hoyle, I mean, honorary member of Massachusetts. Beautiful. say thank you everybody what you guys do it means a lot I'm the man of short words and that's about it as you know <laughs> but thank you it means a lot thank you all thank you
I don't know. I don't remember that too well. I do remember we were about 150 pounds skinnier probably. Than <laughs> take it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to try and get one of those. Yeah, I said both the boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get one. It's our honor. Yeah. All right. Can we get a picture of the family? The family. Can you hold the flag over the top?